it's Michelle McBeal. Can I come in? Thank you. We're ready to go to set, and I wanted the honor of escorting you there myself. The audience is in their seats, and the final security checks have been done. Is there anything else we can do to make you comfortable? There are two security guards outside who have over two decades of experience, and there's a team from the Heroes Guild patrolling the perimeter. I won't say her name, obviously, as I don't want to stress you out prematurely, but she hasn't been spotted anywhere around the building. How are you feeling? Nervous? Oh, it's completely understandable. But we've done everything within our power to ensure your safety. And just think of all the people out there you're going to inspire. Your survival story shed a light on just how dangerous some heroes can be. And you've made such a huge impact on so many people's lives. But I'll save the rest for when the cameras are rolling. I'd hate to rush you, but we can't wait any longer. Please, come with me. You'll be seated right here, on this couch next to my desk. Make yourself at home. Feel free to direct your words to the audience if you're comfortable, but since you're nervous, just focus on me, okay? Like it's just the two of us having a conversation. <laughs> yeah, you can barely see the audience with just how bright these lights are. Okay, um, you see that light on top? That's camera A, that's the main one we'll be looking at. Uh, camera B is there, camera C is there, and that teleprompter is just for me for intros and sign-offs. Okay, this guy's just here to clip on your microphone. And, my favorite part, the last little touch-up of makeup. Brrr. Witches switch swatches, witches switch swatches. And we're going live in three. You ready? Two. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, I will be interviewing the incredible soul that has captured the nation's attention for the past year. They are a survivor, a fighter, a powerhouse of courage in every conceivable way. My friend, welcome. And may I just say, it's an honor to be the one to interview you for the first time on live television. Thank you for coming. <laughs> okay, so, after you escaped the cruel clutches of Night Angel, were you at all worried that no one would believe your story? After all, she was a beloved hero for decades, and by all appearances, was one of the good guys. But it's good that they took you seriously, especially the Heroes Guild. Can you tell us what was going through your mind when you were invited to the Heroes Guild to tell them of your ordeal. Oh, I imagine Intimidated doesn't begin to describe it. But tell me, given the current controversies regarding empowered humans, such as the suspicious series of murders and the accusations of weaponizing teenagers with promising powers, did they at all encourage you to keep this whole story a secret? Your story doesn't exactly shed a positive light on them. They did? Well, you heard it here first, everyone. The Heroes Guild told this survivor to stay quiet in order to maintain their image. Which just shows how incredibly brave you are, my friend. Can we please get some more applause for them? <laughs> now, let's talk about the central antagonist of your story. Night Angel. She's always been mysterious, but with these new revelations, perhaps this darker side to her has always been just under the surface. You just bring out the worst in me. Do you think this is perhaps a trait of her powers, this malevolence, or were there moments of kindness during your time together? Uh, is everything okay? Okay, can we get security in here? I wouldn't do that. If my little star loses control, then everyone in this room will burn. Isn't that right? I... Is anyone in the audience hurt? 
Not yet. There are so many dark shadows in the studio. So easy for me to manipulate. Your audience is safely wrapped up in my darkness. But one wrong move from you, or anyone else behind the scenes, including attempting to stop the broadcast, and their blood will be on your hands. Little star, if you try to use your powers, or run from me, then I'll smother them in shadows. And to all those watching at home, especially the Heroes Guild, if anyone intervenes or tries to stop me, then this entire audience will die before their screams can leave their lungs. You know how powerful I am, and there is no one in your entire roster who can catch me should I decide to slip into the shadows and fly away. Very well. What do you want, Night Angel? The truth. There are two sides to every story. Light and dark. <laughs> And my perspective is very much overdue. You'd best resume your seat, dear guest. It looks like this will be a double interview. <clears throat> no matter what happens, keep those cameras rolling. Well, in that case, you had best come and take a seat, Night Angel. Oh, my little star. <laughs> it is so good to see you again. I can see that you're trembling with excitement. <laughs> to my viewers at home, tonight is truly a once-in-a-lifetime event. I'm not just interviewing one but both voices featured in the international bestseller, Out of the Shadows, <clears throat> Surviving a Villain. Night Angel, thank you for joining us. Oh, I am delighted to be here, back beside my little star. Although, <laughs> if I had any input on the title, I would have selected something a little more... honest, such as... Maybe something along the lines of When Stars Fall, A Love Story of Light and Dark. Hmm. Perhaps the two of us can write a sequel one day. I'm sure I speak for us all when I say we'd all be very interested in reading it. But you came here tonight with a purpose. Please, tell us what that is. Oh, my little star. Vanity doesn't suit you. I'm not just here for you. I'm also here to set the record straight. You see, in this curious little book, my love was described as something... perverse. Something cruel. But, tell me, does the moon hate the sun for the light that is cast upon it? No, of course it doesn't. I was always willing to talk things through, to navigate this relationship with open, honest communication. I want this love to work, but do you deny keeping them in chains? Oh, heavens no! But should I have just let them roam around my home freely? How was I to know what my beloved was capable of? Michelle, do you know what they did? The first thing they did when they broke free? They broke my leg. Is... is this true? You see, such a dangerous, empowered human needs to be monitored closely. Okay, okay. I won't rest my hand on your knee. I can see that physical touch is something we both need to work on as well as some other problematic aspects of our love. I do.
do need to ask, as I'm sure my guest and my audience want to know, how did you get into the studio? <laughs> oh, please. This is hardly the first time I've spent a night locked inside an air vent. Besides, I've been busy gathering my strength these past few months. I wanted to ensure I would have my little star's full attention when our paths crossed again. <sighs> There's been so many ups and downs in our relationship, but what matters is that my love is as steadfast and pure as the light of the North Star, and I've made sure that there's no more obstacles in my way. So, my little star, will you come quietly? Or will you- <laughs> Ah, now that it's just the two of us. <laughs> oh, I knew you still had some fight in you. With the studio lights this bright, there's so many shadows for me to hide in. But be careful. You might accidentally hit an unlucky audience member. <laughs> you spent all this time training, trying to hone your skills. Why don't you show them off for the camera, darling? <laughs> or are you afraid? of burning out too soon. Hmm. <laughs> I've been a very busy angel, honing my skills, learning new tricks, healing my burns, making everything perfect in our new home. Now, Everything is ready for my little star. And this time, you're not getting away. Ah! Oh, how your light burns my flesh as you resist me. But no matter how much you scorch my body, my love is stronger. Because now, you're back with me, and I am never letting you go, my little star. If you enjoyed this ASMR tale, and want to become one of the incredibly kind souls featured here, then please consider supporting me on Patreon. To access my Discord server, attend my monthly live narrations, and enjoy other perks, click on the Patreon link below. You can also catch me live on Twitch every Friday and Sunday evening, so be sure to drop by sometime. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, and stay wicked and wonderful. <laughs>